Hi, everyone. Welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am so glad you're here. I'm so glad I'm here. It's been a wonderful day. I got in the pool, got some exercise, have happy cats here at the house, chatted with my daughter by text. So good day all around. Today, since I'm telling you what a good day it is, and that I'm glad you're here, is Tuesday, July 26, 2022. And tonight I wanted to look at something, and I know that uh, the YouTube partners won't mind a bit because there's, we're going to start by referencing something that YouTube has had up for several years. And it regards the Statue of Liberty. Now, according to this and several other YouTube videos, the Statue of Liberty is really a man dressed like a woman. It's actually the transgender castrated wife of Baal. They mock us, is this title. And I thought, well, surely that can't be right. I mean, the Statue of Liberty is a Statue of Liberty. It's the, it was what immigrants saw and, and rejoiced seeing in the New York Harbor as they got close to um, our shores to legally immigrate into our country. Um, so much, you know, it's such a meaningful thing. Well, it turns out that, and if you're one of those that uh, I am, that we were told in school that the Statue of Liberty was actually a gift from the French people to the United States and thanks for what we'd done for them in various conflicts that certain families got rich on. Um, actually, the Statue of Liberty was a combination of a, um, a fundraising effort among normal everyday people because when it, once it was rebranded as the Statue of Liberty and, and proposed to be the everyday man's um, symbol of freedom, regular people dug into their pockets and donated towards the statue. The balance of it seems to have come from um, the Freemasons in uh, Paris. So you see, when the Statue of Liberty was first being, um, a commission was being sought for it, it was billed as the Statue of Ishtar. And Ishtar is that same <laughs> person that was referenced in the YouTube video and very important to the Freemason cause. Um, Ishtar um, the, was rebranded as the Statue of Liberty to make it more palatable for unsuspecting people who uh, thought it was a gift and uh, found a place for it and memorialized it. Now, one of the reasons that I wanted to touch on this tonight is because the Statue of Liberty also shows up on a pretty notable list. You can find this in numerous places on the internet. I found it at rumormillnews.com. And it is, the Statue of Liberty is on this list, number 22. So it was the uh, George Guidestones, which have met their demise. And um, so has Hoover Dam's had some damage and um, in, in recent weeks. So this is number 22. And I thought, well, hmm. More and more as we discover how history's been tweaked and inverted. Sometimes I feel like I'm living in, uh, you know that uh, H that uh, Netflix series, Stranger Things, where they have an inverted reality? That feels like what's been happening and where we're living, and I want to go topside. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> but till we get there via Ascension or however that shows up, let's start shining a light on things that aren't quite what they seem, and one of those is Statue of Liberty, or more accurately, the Statue of Ishtar. So my question about this is, because there was apparently some... Um, secret intent to having that statue where it is. And, and, and it was not honestly portrayed to trusting Americans and immigrants who saw it truly as what it was billed as, you know, as a symbol of liberty, which is what we wanted our nation to be. So my question for the tonight for the cards is, 
is it possible that there's been enough love and good energy poured into the Statue of Liberty that its intent and purpose has been transmuted? Or does it really belong on that list of sites that need to come down as our world moves into the light? So that's my question. We know that energy can be siphoned one way and used in ways you don't want. And by the same token, it can be intentionally transmuted back to where you want or even repurposed. So is it possible that there's been enough love and light bestowed upon the Statue of Liberty that it's not what it was originally? Let's see what the cards have to say. So is the energy and intent around the Statue of Liberty still a dark energy? What does the universe have to inform us about this situation and this landmark? We have the Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Death, the Moon, Nine of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and Strength. This is interesting. The uh, Statue of Liberty was uh, involved some craftsmanship, no doubt about it. Okay, the uh, <clears throat> so this is a card of master craftsmanship, and this is often my White Hats Alliance card, and so it's no, it's not a mistake that it made that list of satanic landmarks. Okay, the intent behind it, its creation was not good. They kept that, its purpose, secret. And, um, and still to this day, this is our present card, still to this day, it is gathering energy and not being used for good. So it's time has come to be altered, changed, or removed. And... Uh, <laughs> There's just no other way to read these cards to me, okay? Now, the advice is, if we proceed with this, we've got an advice and a secondary clarification card here. And the advice is, okay, to uh, it's not high on the list of priority of things that need to be done right now. It does need to happen. And when it is, it's going to increase the energy that's available for the light and for all good things. Because somehow or some way, it is being used um, to siphon off loving energy and use it for other purposes. Okay, let's see what else the cards have to tell us. Okay. All right, we've got the Empress, Ace of Wands. So we have one, two, three, four major arcana showing up with this. And yeah, um, Mother Earth is often our uh, what happens for me for the Empress is what that means. Um, now that's the Statue of Liberty. It's the Empress. <laughs> Talk about loving energy. And yeah, we've got an Ace of Wands because we were asking, you know, should it be removed? And we're getting a yes on that. So yeah, it's on the list for a reason. We might look at a few more places on that list because I find them interesting. Not everyone. Um, but you can look at that. Um, at your discretion and at your leisure. <laughs> as if when you're trying to find truth and it's so hidden, you know, these days as if there's much leisure. But anyway, that's it for the uh, Statue of Liberty or Statue of Ishtar. And since I don't uh, um, worship anybody but my loving creator, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm no longer a fan. I don't know about you. Thank you for uh, watching this video. 
your time is precious and I do appreciate that you chose to spend a little of it with me. I don't take that for granted. I wish you love and light and all things bright. Until next time, good night.